Good, mor good morning, beautiful and amazing people. This is Veronica, holistic integrative health nurse, energy healer, empathic medical intuitive. Um, I'm here to address the event that is coming up upon us. And I know it's creeping up on us really soon. Like I said, it's going to be October. I don't know exactly when in October, but I do know it's very soon because the energies have been just ramping up and I have been bombarded. Well, since the 26th of August, the energies have been ramping up for me. That was a big deal, the 26th of August. Um, and it's just been getting more and more intense since then and then um, the equinox hit on the 22nd and that was extremely intense and last night I was hit with some major kundalini energy when I say last night I usually mean like pre-dawn that's when the energies usually hit, hit me it's always pre-dawn between the hours of 2 to 5 a.m. that's when the energies hit me really strong and it comes up my left, it comes in my left foot. I saw this bright light, bright white light come up my left foot. It comes up my left body, goes all the way up to my heart chakra, hits every single point coming up, goes up to my heart chakra, higher heart chakra, spend some time in that area, spins a bit, then goes all the way up, goes up to my um, soul star chakra, then comes back down hits my third eye which is expands my pituitary and penile gland my third eye area which is why i can't even open my left eye which is why i'm not on video <laughs> i just can't stand the way i look right now i can't even open my left eye right now and i'm doing all my pressure points and everything and it's alleviated a little bit of the pain but it's still so much and i'm also i love aromatherapy it helps me a lot so i'm sniffing and 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 uh, wiping myself down some tea tree oil too that helps so it expands that area then comes back down into my higher heart chakra area and it's like electrical pulses just pulsing and then I also see the light and it's bright lights and I saw yesterday was the bright lights but the day before that yesterday was what today's the 25th yesterday's the 24th it was the 23rd where I saw all these different geometrical shapes. It was, and I haven't seen that in a while. The last time I saw that, I would see one geometrical shape here and again whenever I had a Kundalini event going on. But they're few and far between. And yesterday it was like all of them, just all over the place. It was, it was fantastic. And I was like, whoa, it was mind blowing. Um, I'm sure there are so, some first and second waivers out there, especially first waivers who are experiencing this because the time has come where we're coming out of the desert place, as I call it, and uh, things are starting to evolve. And that is what's happening with me. It's like once I and I knew it and my oversoul told me once that equinox hits, <clears throat> excuse me, on the 22nd of September, everything is like boom, 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 it's going to be. It's going to be everything's coming to fruition very quickly and it did the 22nd something happened and then tomorrow i'll be settling my finances i'll be getting you know my money <clears throat> and then that way i go and i i'm put myself in, in position where i'm supposed to be um for the event basically and um <clears throat> i wanted to address something very specific also the three days of darkness, as they call it, because when this energy pulse comes into Gaia, it is going to knock out the electrical system. OK, and if anybody remembers and if anybody was in that area to that August 2003, when we had energy knocked out for a few days, that is what it's going to be like. It's nothing to fear. I was living in New York. In fact, that the day it happened was the day before I was supposed to graduate. Um, uh, excuse me. No, I remember the day before I went to graduate, went to rehearsal, did everything. The next day is when it happened. Everything was knocked out. And of course, no graduation. You could imagine <laughs> how that felt. That's what I was supposed to graduate from nursing school. Um, and I was going to get nurse of the year, which didn't happen. So it was a big disappointment. But since 
my fa- like my sisters were there, my mom was there, everyone was in my mom's house for my graduation, and we already had food and drinks and everything. It was just fun, you know? It wasn't scary, it wasn't like The Purge, you know, that horrible movie, The Purge, which is what they're, you know, the, the cabal or whatever you wanna call them, the dark ones who are in control of 3D, 4D, they want, you, they want you to believe that that's how it's going to be. They want you to buy into that fear. That's why you're being bombarded with all these dark, awful, evil movies. You get that in your head. Once the lights go out, people go fucking mad. No, you don't. Okay? We're all at my mom's house. We're out in Long Island. And uh, we all just chilled out. I mean, the house was hot because it was August. We all chilled out in the front lawn. We slept outside, we had blankets outside, all the neighbors were out, and by the way, it was beautiful because since all the lights were out in the city, it was like, oh my goodness, you could see all the stars. It was stunning, it was something I've never seen before. Everybody got together, everybody threw up the barbecue grill. You know, and for you vegetarians and vegans out there, which, uh, you know, I'm one also, you know, you could still, I love grilling bok choy with olive oil and some, and some, you know, herbs. It's delicious. You know, we just throw up the grill, man. You pop up the Barbie. It was all great. It was, it was one love. There was no crazy. There was no purging. There was no people running around with saws and guns and stuff and killing each other. That shit is, is on TV. Leave it on TV. Better yet, don't watch the damn TV. Don't watch the movies. That's what they want you to buy into. Don't buy into it. Just make sure you have your supplies. We had the supplies because it was going to be my graduation day. So we're already prepared. You know, just tell your people, you know, people who don't want to hear it or don't want to believe, you know, about the event and stuff like that. Just say, listen, it's hurricane season. It's storm season. You know, buy them a big jug of, of bottled water. Say, here, just keep this with you. You know, have some supplies. Give it as gifts, which is what I plan on doing. And, you know, since my people are East Coast New Yorkers, I'll just be like, hey, listen, you know, just just be prepared. You know, you never know. Remember, remember 2003, how it was, you know, and that's what I'm going to do to help those who aren't awakened. You know, most of my people are partly awakened, so they actually listen to me when I say stuff because they know me since I was a child to have that clairvoyant ability. So when I say it, they jump to it. So spread the news that way you know so the fear won't happen when the lights go out because it doesn't have to be a scary time it could be a time of union which is which is how it was you know and i really feel that time that blackout time was um it was a dry run it really was it was a dry one for whatever whatever the cause was you know the every literally every half hour the 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 reason for the blackout was changing. Everywhere from a down power line in West Bumfuck, Ohio, whatever the hell it was, they were always coming up with a different excuse. Why it happened, I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. What I care about is how the way people reacted. And it was fun. It was nice. So it doesn't have to be horrible if you don't believe it's going to be horrible, okay? Especially with the kids. My son was a baby. He was very little, my daughter was young, and you know, everyone just crashed on grandma's front lawn. That's all it has to be. Everybody get together in one spot, bring your supplies together, and just ride it out. That's all it's about, just ride it out. It does not have to be a horrible thing at all. It's a thing to unite us, okay? So namaste, and you know, be aware, be prepared, and um, there's, of course, a lot of other um, ascension symptoms going on. It was so interesting. Yesterday I had the ascension flu. That went away real quick. And then today, you know, after being bombarded with all that kundalini energy and other energy coming, you know, I'm feeling pulses of energy coming in. The energy is pulsing in, the event energy. Like I said, I started feeling it on the 26th of August, and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger you know, opening up that gate. That gate is, is opening wide. Like I said, the churning, 4D is churning. Um, so be prepared and namaste y'all and just enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride and be there to, you know, calm those who are 
just awakening who are going to awaken to the truth that is what that's why we're light workers that's what we're here for that's all all right namaste and if you have any questions feel free to email me at higherrealmholistics at gmail.com and if you're interested in the session you can visit my website at higher realm holistics bye y'all love you